Hello lovely people, welcome to that Geekabird, I am Penjan, welcome back to Foundation. So last time out, we discovered an important thing about the residents of Cupboard Town, which is what you're looking at now, and that thing was that they have very little, very little respect for personal space and comfort zones. As you can see here, this little sort of residential block, everything's very close together. Everything is very, very nearby. The houses are kind of all crammed into this tiny space. And then if you go over here and look at my house, because I assume this is my house, the Lord Manor, which is, yeah, you know, I'm the Lord of this town. I built this house and a villager came along and built their house literally in the garden. I built this with a garden in mind. There was a fenced area. And they've come along and just put the house sort of, I was going to slap bang in the middle. It's not slap bang in the middle, but I think it's fairly obvious that it's encroaching a little bit into the garden area. And it's kind of ruined the fountain. I put a fountain there, probably at great expense. But um, yeah, there we go. So uh, yeah, they, they got a little bit close. I like to think that I'm kind of a nice lord of the village. You know, I'm you know, fairly easy going, fairly kind. And I'll let this slide. So you know, I won't burn this house to the ground and chase the people out and send them off into the wilderness in the pants or anything. No, no. But I, uh, I have since stopped this happening from, uh, from happening again by sort of unzoning this as a residential area. I don't want anybody else to get any nearer. You know, I mean, I like you. I like all the villagers. But I mean, in all honesty, you, you, your peasants and your commoners, you probably don't wash. So I'd like them to stay a little bit away. You know, arm's length distance kind of thing. Another thing I need to do right now, and thank you for the people that made comments on the previous video, I have not done something correctly. This may come as a shock to some of you, probably not many of you. So over here, I have set these, well, these weird mushroom berry things over here to be set for extraction so people can go over and use them and get berries off them. Same for this bit of stone, same for all the trees. However, over here, I've not actually done that. So nobody, as I believe, people are telling me in the comments, are at, nobody's using this. The gatherers are not gathering berries or whatever it is, whatever you get from these weird mushrooms. They're not gathering them from here. They're going all the way over to just here and getting them from there, which seems slightly counterproductive when I've got two gathering hut things right next door. So that solved that little issue. There we go. So right, let's unpause time. Let's just um, let's just get things moving. Let's keep an eye down here then. To see, yeah, now that was a gatherer person. They came from all the way down there, didn't they? Uh, nope, you're not quite, you're not quite getting there now, are you? These are allowed, you are allowed to go from these now. Now I wonder if it takes a while for that to bed into their sort of system. Now you, 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 are you going to go to just here? Ye no. <laughs> ah, damn you, Louis, twenty-year-old male who's quite happy, uh, looking to fill my needs. Yeah, now berries. Berries are one of the things that affects happiness quite quite a lot. Lacked berries. So bread and berries. So it's food. It's got all food. Aha. Ha ha ha. Yes. Right. Now they are using this. Now I've got no evidence. I don't know if before they were using this or not. But I'm going to assume not. Because I hadn't set it for extraction. So I'm going to guess now they can do this. It shall be lovely. There should be someone there. Oh, Jane. Does, does the um person not appear there then? The sort of character model doesn't appear behind the thing. They're just buying it off of nobody. Oh, right, an automated system or something. I don't, I don't know. They've got self-service checkouts in there. That must be what it is. So our job today, our big job today, if I'm honest, is to build a church. I'm very excited about building a church because the churches look great. We've got 48 people living here now. We've got one, two, three, five people with no job. Five people. Well, this is unforgivable. Right, you can, you can have a job. That's fine. We've got two bakers, haven't we? That's absolutely fine. Is one windmill going to be enough? Are we going to struggle with one windmill? Oh, no. I was going to build the church just here. Right. I think we might need to build the church pretty immediately because I built a house there. I was going to build the church there as a lovely sort of central location. But no, I'll build it over these trees. I shall crush nature for religion. Okay. So, um, yes. Do we need to build another windmill possibly? We might need another windmill. Because uh, we've got two bakers. We've got one farm. That produces an awful lot of wheat. It's produced 64 wheat. But I don't think we can actually do anything with it. Oh, no, that's got 24 flour in there. I think it's more bakers that we've got the issue with. Yeah, nine, nine flour, four water and no bread. Erin, could you hurry up, please? <laughs> Make us some stuff, please. Thank you. Um, how about then we build another bakers? Because this area down here is getting a bit more popular as a kind of housing centre. So if we build a baker, say just here, people from over here can go and get their bread. Or the, well, no, okay, they don't. They get the bread from these things, from the little markets, but they can certainly ship the bread from the baker next door to just there. So that might be a thing we can do. 
uh, build uh, public buildings. Let's get another bakery. Uh, pop that just uh, there. That will be absolutely fine. Now, another suggestion did come from the comments saying, what about decorative bushes and decorative trees? Do they make it more appealing for people to go and live there? Let's have a look, shall we? They're free. Seemingly no kind of cost behind them. So decorative bush, decorative tree. Well, an offence we don't need. But yeah, the, the trees and the bush don't seem to have any kind of cost to them. So if we look for residential, so green is obviously good. Green is good. Red is bad. So nobody wants to live miles away from anything. Everyone kind of wants to live nearby. Makes perfect sense. What if we go... Uh, this whole area is kind of zoned out. What if we put a tree just... Uh, where, where, oh, hang on a minute. Where's an actual zoned area? Where have I got some green? What about, yeah, here, look. What if I put a tree just here? Well, not any old tree. No, no, it's a decorative tree. What if we drop a decorative tree? In? It does. Look, it makes it ever so slightly more appealing. And then we drop a bush underneath it. Yes. Okay, thank you, commenting people. Yeah, decorative trees make it more appealing for people to go and live there. Okay, this is very good. All right, let's drop some decorative trees around the place. Just liberally scatter them around. There we go. I don't know, another one up there. Yeah, it's marginal. I mean, it's a really, really small effect. But still, that's quite good. Now, hopefully the tree cutting people don't come and just chop them down again. That would be a shame. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Go to this effort, planting these trees. And then all of a sudden, everyone just comes and lops them down. Okay, yeah, let's just drop a few round here. I notice I'm going for the trees and not the bushes. Let's go for a few bushes as well. Little, little lovely decorative bushes. Um, how about one next to that tree? That's quite nice. A couple back here might be quite nice. So one there, just to add you know, a little bit of uh, colour to this, this end of the village. Uh, and then over here, let's drop one there and one uh, there, like that. That's pretty good. And then we'll drop one just there splendid okay well that's interesting okay so they do have an effect they do have a fairly big effect right and turn that off thank you very much um another thing we did last time out by the way i didn't mention we've we've sort of bought the uh whatever it is six tiles around our central starting tile so we've kind of got space now if we wanted to expand we've got space to expand into which is lovely Right, before anyone else builds down here then, let's get a church underway, shall we? Let's get a church going. So let's pause time again and build ourselves a church. Okay, this should be very, very good because churches look very impressive. And uh, yes, they give faith and a lot of people are lacking faith. I mean, yeah, all right, they're lacking bread as well. Their bread needs are unfulfilled, but they're also lacking faith. One thing that would be useful would be uh, bread appearing on the resources bar up here. I don't control it, I don't think. Do I like right-clicking it or anything exciting? I don't think so. What's that? Toggle resource panel. Ah, that was it. That appeared before, didn't it? And I said, why can't that just persist? Because this sort of gives a few resources. It tells you wood, tools, berries, stone and planks. But, you know, our people need our people need bread. And it's not really giving me the info that I need up there now to keep to, to manage my little city. My little city, my little settlement. It's not a city just yet. Uh, okay, so yes, a church. This will uh, obviously help their needs, help their religious yearnings. So, a church. Let's have a look. Building part counts. So it needs to be a minimum of three pieces. Uh, and <laughs> I presume it needs a door, which would make sense. Ooh, a theme. Wood, red, or blue. Okay, this is fascinating. Right, so wood, uh, I presume, would just create a wooden church. Uh, sort of, I kind of think Scandinavian kind of style. They used to have wooden kind of church things, didn't they? And, you know, American Wild West style churches. Red? I don't know what a red church would be. Blue? I would picture something like a kind of Greek kind of church, possibly. You know, with the white walls and maybe a blue tiled roof or something. I don't really know. I'm going to go for blue. Geek Cupboard's blue. Let's go for blue. Right, we probably need a core. Probably need a church core. Oh, right, it's quite big then. Uh, okay, I was going to build it that way. We might need to build it going downwards, possibly. Uh, right, how do we rotate it? Ah, that's it. Yeah, so I think we might need to build it kind of going that way. So let's drop the core just there. That'll do. Um, can we build another core next to it? Is is that allowed? Does it snap? Yes. So, yeah, because we want a quite a long, want a long church. That looks very cool. A tower. A church tower. Uh, okay, right. Now, I do I have to do the thing where I raise it up but ideally you want the door let's get the door let's put the door oh dear let's put the door just there uh, that looks slightly off center which is a little bit infuriating i know that's better pop a door in that's good 
Uh, also, right, can we have other things? What is an arc core? I'm intrigued to know what is that? Uh, oh, it's a big gate kind of thing of some description. Can we tack that onto there? What What does one of the... Uh, okay, it goes on the side. Uh, okay. I don't really know what that does, but that's that's good. Let's put one of those on because I want one. Do you know what? Because I've, I've gone completely arc core mad. Let's have two arc cores. Now, what do they do? Raise up and down. Okay, let's have them a slightly taller arc cores. <laughs> I don't know what an arc core does. Oh, it's built on a hill. That looks cool. Oh, I like that. That looks very, very good. Okay, we've got some arc cores for no discernible reason, but yay. Uh, extension A. Oh, there's extensions for this as well. Extension A. Uh, oh, like a little annex on the side. That's good. Does that give us anything? No, it just makes it look kind of cool. Let's put it uh, on this side. Let's do that. Let's so it tucks into there. What's extension B look like? Oh, it's a little kind of ending. Ah, that could go just there. It's got like a little vestry or something. Extension C is a little round kind of bit. Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe tap that into there. No, that looks terrible. Uh, inside there. Like that. Yeah, okay. That looks good. I like that. Crosses, gargoyles, stained glass. Now, we do have some glass. I assume it's stained glass. Ah, five. So it's five glass per piece of stained glass that I'm going to place in the church. Okay, so I can only have two of these, so I have to be fairly choosy about where I want them to go. Oh, that looks tremendous. Can I have one above the door? That would make sense. Uh, up in the, up in the, up there? I want it kind of, uh, yeah, there, 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 there. Yes, there. One just that. Oh, that will look flipping fantastic. Yeah, okay, that'll look good. Um, and then we kind of want to put our tower in then. Because the tower can go at the end. And then we can raise... Oh, no, we can't. We can't raise it up because I'm very silly. I'm sure... <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's many psychologists and psychiatrists who will have a field day at how big you make your tower. But okay, that's fine. That looks very cool. I like that. How, incidentally, how big can the towers go? Out of pure interest. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Does it go all the way to space? Ah, oh, that's very funny. Okay, no, I think that's a little bit ludicrous. That is a lot of stairs to go <laughs> repair the bells. Let's let's put it down to more manageable. Let's put it like that. That looks quite good. That looks quite imposing. <laughs> ah, that's made me chuckle. Oh dear, how oh, childish. Right, a couple of decorative trees around the place. Yep, uh, yeah, another one. Let's, let's make some grounds because churches have grounds. I assume. I assume at some point you'd get a graveyard with it. I don't know. Auto saving does concern me when it does that. The whole thing just stops. Uh, yeah, let's put sort of decorative trees all round there. One thing I am going to have to do as well is turn off the residential zoning area around this because otherwise people will be building in the church. They want to be so close to the Lord that they're going to build literally inside his church. So uh, yeah, let's do that. And stained glass, can we rotate that round? Where can we put it then on here? Uh, no, because that seems to be inside. I don't want it inside. I want it kind of... Ideally, I'd have it at the top. I'd have it like in the church tower. So it looks really dramatic. But I don't think I can fit it anyway. Do you know what? Above there looks absolutely fine. Above there looks good. Can I get one in here? Uh, I can't... Yeah, I can't get them where it would logically fit. It doesn't seem to fit properly into where I would think it should fit. But never mind. Yeah, look, on like on a wall, for example. I can't seem to get the, uh, the, the stained glass to go anywhere. Do you know what? Never mind. More importantly, crosses and gargoyles. Right, across there and at the door. Uh, at the door. There, yeah, that's good. Across at the door. And then maybe across on the actual top of the thing. Just there. Oh, this is very weird because it doesn't... It's not actually... It, you don't plot... Look, I'm pointing the cursor at the bottom of the tower and it's appearing at the top. Right, can we rotate the cross? Uh, seemingly not. Oh, well, now I've completely broken it. No. Uh, on. No. Okay, cancel the cross. Can't come back to the cross. Just put the cross just there. <laughs> That's fine. And then we some gargoyles. Because this sounds fun. Yeah, gargoyle just there. Stay away. And a gargoyle on that bit just there. Yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> yes. Gargoyles. Good. Can we have another one? Sort of sat in the middle. Can we rotate the gargoyles around then? Seemingly not. Okay, that gargoyle's looking toward the thing. It's fine. I'm sure that's all fine. Uh, and then we want a fountain. I'm going to put a fountain kind of out the back because I quite like the idea. Yeah, just there, actually. That's a, that, that is a pretty good spot for it, right there. Uh, and I think that's it. 
Decor, towers. Do we might want to put another door? Let's put another door at the back. Let's just slot another door in just there. So there's two ways in or out, depending on your angle. Depending on what you want to do with it. So across this gargoyle, stained glass, decorative trees, art cores, fountains. We've got all that. Yeah, I don't know what the point of an art core is. I don't actually know what it does. But okay, there we go. The church is done. Oh, that is very exciting. I like that. And obviously this is only in alpha. That's actually quite nice. That's quite a nice user sort of friendly interface. Obviously I had some problems with the stained glass and it's a bit weird saying I want the cross to appear on the top of that bit. You know, literally on the top of the pointy bit of the tower. I'm sure it's got a name. The steeple, whatever it is. But you have to put your cursor at the bottom for it to snap up to the top. It's a bit weird, but I'm sure they will work on that. We'll give feedback and they'll be watching all these videos and stuff anyway. So um, yeah, I quite like that. It's a nice, relatively intuitive kind of interface. I need another tree just there. Thank you very much. And another tree there. What I might do actually is, could I? Oh, this could be very cool. Can I shift click to build many trees? No. No, I certainly cannot. Let's do this. Let's have like a parade of decorative trees going toward the door. Like uh, one there, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. That'll look quite nice. One and two and three. And the last one. Four. Yes. I like that idea. I mean, the one's on the right are slightly higher, but never mind. Okay. Yes. And we're going for the blue theme. I mean, who knows? <laughs> who knows what difference that is? Right. We're going to need to get some stone out of the ground to do this. So start construction. Right. A lot of stuff has appeared. Oh, okay. And some bits are already in, are they? The, uh, <laughs> the gargoyles are already on. The gargoyles look a little bit strange. But, oh, the gargoyles are entirely flat. Okay, maybe they're not in properly. They're like placeholder things. There's a thing there. There's, there's the fountains already in. Okay, it's got a bit weird, but that's fine. That's fine. Alpha, alpha mode and all that kind of stuff. We have to remember that. Yeah, there's that the cross as well. Yeah, so maybe it plots and they're a bit flat. Whatever, I don't know. It doesn't really matter so much. Um, first thing we need to do. Uh, unzone this as uh, an extraction place because we don't want them to come in and chop our nice trees down in fact i don't know if they do chop down the decorative trees i would hope they would acknowledge that there's a difference between them but okay do that and definitely no residents this is the church's land so yes they're like that going up there no people please this is the church if I'll do this down here it shall go round there possibly to sort of there ish oh and there I think they're, they're, they're nice trees, aren't they? Like that. To about there. That's how cutting it fine a bit at the back, isn't it? There we go. Like that. People might want to live at the back of the church, possibly. Maybe. Okay, that's good. We've stopped people building on it, which is probably very helpful. Now, we might need some more stone people. Now, so we've got another one up here. So let's put another person there. So we've got six stone cutters, I believe. Uh, oh, no, you can have five in a camp. Of course you can. Right, everybody. Go stone cutting. Everybody go stone cutting. The big project now is getting the church done. Your lord demandeth it. Another thing we may need to do is build another sawmill. Because we've only got two of those. So while stone is now going to go up because there's ten stone cutters, we've only got four people working in the sawmills. So another one of those will probably not go amiss. Are you guys alright to go and get loads of wood? Are you guys still okay? Ah, now, now here we go. This is a thing we could do. Yes, extraction. We can change that over there. Let's make it a bit bigger. So, yeah, you guys don't have to go quite as far to get some wood to chop the trees down. So, that's good. That will help uh, get the logs. And then we just want a sawmill. So, let's just drop a sawmill just there. Why the heck not? That'll do. Put a sawmill in. Employ a couple more people there. So, we've got pretty much... Uh, yeah, we haven't got any logs. So, let's assign another person to that camp. And we've got three people there. Okay, have we got any unemployed people? There's nobody doing anything. We have... Ah, everybody is gainfully employed. Oh, Cupboard Town is looking tremendous. It will look far better with the introduction of our wonderful church. I notice that you're uh, you're prioritising this at the minute, this house. Can we make the church a bit more important? Yeah, prioritise building construction. Yes, please. Ah, there we go. And immediately they are bringing things to it. Hopefully they'll forget about this house for a little while. Because, yeah, this is more important. This is far more important. Can we have the church in first, please? What did that say there? Desirability high. Oh, is it because it's next to the church? Ah. Oh, they're all suddenly very highly desirable. Okay, even the one over here? Right, the church has a massive influence then on the housing. 
on the desirability of the housing. What about the one all the way over here? Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting then. I'm going to expect more houses to pop up around here once that's done. Uh, two new villagers. Lovely. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's glowing green. That's like radioactive kind of Hulk green. That's probably going to draw loads of people in. So we could put people all around the back. I imagine they're going to move in around the back. Uh, yeah, we might need some more... Maybe a little market thing down here. If people move in around here, maybe we put these in. So we put a well around the back and we put little food selling bits and try and create a, another sort of living area around here, maybe. That might be a good thing to do once the church is in. Oh, let's turn that off. Um, once the church is in, I think right now we just need to get this stuff built. We've still got a, a baker's, a bakery, whatever it is, a bakery being constructed. Oh, have I got enough tools? Have I got enough tools? Yes, yeah, 10 tools. And then we've got the whatever I put over here. Where is it? Click and click. It's not doing it. Zoom in and try again. There. A sawmill. The sawmill actually doesn't need anything special. That there, though, does need tools. Uh, we do have ten tools. So they should be all right with that. They should be all right with the bakery. How much bread have we got? No bread. Still no bread. <laughs> Come on. What are we doing? We've sold 22 that week. So they are making bread. They are furiously making bread. They've got nine flour and four water. So they should be okay. Oh, yeah, we might want to put a well over here as well, actually. Let's drop a little well in. I know it's another thing they need, but a well just there could be very handy indeed. So let's just put it on the corner like that. That's quite nice. And do you know what? Let's up that, actually. And that. Now, does that mean... Can I have all three prioritised? Yes. Okay, so the church, this well, and this bakery are now uh, three priority buildings that we need to get done. They are working on the frame of the church, which is interesting. There's a lot of stone gone in. No planks, certainly none of the glass, and none of the gold has gone in. But yeah, they're working on it. Grace and Liliana both assigned to it. Okay, right, so the church is being taken seriously. This is good. This is good. They're building that. But yeah, but we also want these in. We want these in to take care of the bread issue, the priority bread issue. And then, yeah, well, it's just useful. And we need this in the sawmill and stuff for planks because we are lacking planks. We're not lacking planks right now, but when they take them with the church, we shall certainly be lacking planks. Oh, the first bit of the church is done. And yes, look, it is. It's a blue tiled roof. So it kind of looks, I don't know. I don't know why I think it kind of looks sort of sort of Greek Mediterranean-y colour. But yeah, so the white walls, the white kind of plaster walls, and then the blue sort of tiled roof. Okay, is the whole thing going to look like that then? That will look very, very cool indeed. Okay, yep, good. I'm looking forward to that. Nothing else has really happened. Nothing else has happened particularly. Two new people have moved in. Uh, I'm going to leave them for a bit. I'm going to leave them to assign them to a baker. Certainly one could be a baker over here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll leave the other one for now. And then we'll start, I think when the church is done, I think houses will start springing up around it. So we'll build another little centre down here, as we previously discussed. Put uh, one of these in, so the thing that sells the berries. And a little sort of market for bread as well. Put them down here with a well. And people will spring up around here, I'm fairly sure. Hey, and the third bakery is done, so let's assign whoever into there. Hang on a minute, you can have two workers in a bakery, can you? I thought it was one. One out of one workers assigned. Why can that bakery have two? Yes, I'll assign two workers to that bakery. Why can that one have two? Why can I have two bakers and that can only have one? What's the difference between those buildings? I don't know what the difference is. Why is there anything different between that building and that one? Unless there's been some sort of update sort of a game update and it only applies to the new buildings being built that I can have two people in there I don't know I certainly didn't notice anything before loading but okay well there you go I'll put two in we've got people spare so that's fine the church is looking very good they've built the arc cars which I don't know what they do but they're on the side of the church and that looks absolutely fine they're building this little sort of side bit now so they've got the whatever is the vestry there that I know that can be some sort of uh, I don't know like a sort of place for the priest person to live I assume I have to assign a priest as well I don't know, but I guess I would. I guess I have to assign a priest. And then I think the last thing they need to do is this, is build the tower, I would guess. There's not a lot else to do. The gargoyles and stuff need to appear on it. But um, yeah, other than that, I think it's looking okay. It's looking pretty good. Is that well in yet? No, so the well isn't there. Got lots of bread. Right, flour. Why is there no flour? Can you do more flour, please? Yeah, so John. Yeah, maybe we need another windmill. Maybe we need another windmill. Yeah, okay, so we've got... They've got flour to work on, actually. They've got no water. That's a problem easily solved. They're working very hard over here. There's 101 wheat over here. So I presume they're going to drop that into here at the minute. Yeah, he's only got five wheat, is, has John. John is struggling with resources at his end. So, yeah, maybe he needs a bit more wheat going to go into there to make more flour for the bakers. The tower's being built. Very exciting. Okay, let's see. Let's just see what it looks like. 
have a little look. They're still building it. Still building it. I don't know how they do this. I don't know how they do it in ye medieval times with only one person working on it. Well done them. Oh, look. Are these houses? Yes, these are houses springing up. Okay, good. This is jolly exciting. 54 people now. Okay, it's going up and up. Let's build our little thing around here then. When, whilst this is being uh, finished, I think it must be nearly finished. The church has got to nearly be finished. What do we get for that? Oh, 50 of those things. 50 religious hats. Yay, I love 50 religious hats. So that's good. Religious hats aren't actually in the game at the moment. Uh, so yeah, uh, a crowd of <laughs> three people. So three shady, mysterious shadow people. Labour isn't in the game. Uh, King, King Man isn't in the game and neither are religious hats. Not yet, anyway. Because we're in alpha mode and that's the thing they haven't done yet. The tower is in. The tower is in. Oh, this is exciting. What else is there to do? What else is there to do? Bring in some gold and some more stone. 31 stone. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got lots of stone going now. What else? What else are they building? Are they building all the little sort of accoutrements? Yes, that the gargoyle. <laughs> there he is. Hello. Oh, and all blurry. Hello. Oh, you're good. I like you. You're good. Apart from you go a bit blurry when I get near. <laughs> What's it? I, I long sighted or whatever it is. Like, no, no, you can't get too near the thing. That's cool. Okay. Crosses are on. Crosses are on. More gargoyles going on. There's two more gargoyles. And then there was a door at the back that needs to go in. There's not a door just there right now. It's nearly done, though. It's nearly done. They need, what, a bit more stone? I think the church will be finished. All the trees are in. Yeah, people are definitely... Oh, look at that. People are definitely moving in round here. Okay, so the church is going to be important. This is going to be a sort of focal point. Let's put some stuff around here. The door is in. The door is in. The door's got a bit of a weird graphical thing. And it's finished. The church is done. I've built a church. I've got 50 religious hats. Yes, quest completed. <gasps> It's my church. A villager's upgrading his house. Okay, ah, it must be the, the ones... Okay, yeah, so there were some of them that did upgrade their houses. Uh, yeah, some people have completed their houses. Okay, yeah, so they were basic houses. Yep, thank you. Lots of notifications going on. And then they upgrade them to have these little sort of extra bits outside, like a, like a picnic table or a little sort of lean-to where they keep the wood or whatever. So, yeah, so they're working on those, which is good. That's cool. I like that. Okay, round the back then. We need to build these things. We need to add these in. So let's slow time down a little bit. Let's get ourselves uh, a well. Pop a well round the back. That's probably an important thing. Drop a well. Maybe right round the back of the church. Just there. And then let's get ourselves two of these. So a bread market can go... Uh, yeah, just there is what I'm thinking. Like that. Close to the back of there. And then let's get ourselves a gathering market. And that can go just there. I think that's allowed. I don't know if that's too close or not, but whatever. There we go. So, okay. This is looking good. It's looking good. Do you know what as well? It's for a decorative bush next to the church. Just to up it even more. Round the back. There you go. Near the, uh, near the well. That's fine. I didn't put any of these things over near me, did I? Over here. Although uh, that, that that was a house. That was a house? Why has it fallen? Has that fallen down? Has this fallen down? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, dear. I assume it's fallen down or something. Oh, house is upgrading. Oh, they're upgrading it again. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. I thought it had fallen down. I was like, oh, no. The house has collapsed. Let's just slap a few of these things around while I'm here. Yeah, another decorative tree and another bush. Just outside your house, actually. Even though you did sort of usurp my territory, it's fine. I'll give you a decorative tree. Uh, oh, right. Oh, my goodness. Loads of people upgrading. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Six people upgrading and lots of people are building houses. Okay, that's exciting then. That's very good. Oh, the church bells are ringing. The church bells are actually ringing. That's brilliant. So 35 parts, that church. 51 people can fit in, which is good. That's most people. Uh, it has a door. That's quite important. It's got an effect on my estates, which has no bearing on the game at the minute. I pay a bit of maintenance on it. Oh, there's a bell tower sound. Oh, okay, right. I don't know if I'll be able to hear these or not. Right, let's try and listen to Zero. Okay, that sounds a bit like Big Ben, kind of massive, sort of huge bell. Okay, that sounds slightly higher pitched. That's very high pitched. Okay, it just goes up the scale then, does it? Well, let's have three. Let's have three. That's the most sort of easily recognisable. So, yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, that's quite nice and shrill. That's good. I can hear that when I'm doing other stuff. Okay, that looks tremendous. That looks great in the middle of the village. That looks very, very cool. Uh, okay, what do these people need? 
Waiting for builders. Ah, now the builders might be doing all the other things. So they put a well just there. Bread is looking good. Right, what's the problem still? Could not find bread. Uh, right, John is struggling. We need another windmill. I think we need another windmill in. Uh, how many? Is that a lot of tools? Windmill is 10 tools, 10 planks, 10 stone. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We can do that. Uh, let's drop the other windmill. Does it have to be next to that one? Probably not. Maybe we can drop it over here, into the middle of the village or something. Or maybe put it over here. It needs to be near the baker's rear. It needs to be kind of along this road. How about up on the side of this hill? That would be good, given that it's you know windmill and everything. That could be quite useful. It's sort of stuck in the ground. <laughs> I want it to be a bit higher up than that. Do you know what? Whatever. That'll do. Plop it there. Get someone in, because we've got lots of people anyway. Oh, there's so many people. 60 people. We've got 236 berries. We're fine for berries. So yeah, bread. Flour is another issue. Flour and bread. Yeah, they've got so much stuff in there. They've got so much stuff in the farm. So the, the weak point now is windmills. We need more windmills. More windmills, please. John is overworked. John is overworked and underpaid. In fact, do we even pay anyone anything? I don't know. But he's probably very much underpaid. Oh, look, more stuff going on just here. Loads of people are upgrading their houses. So yeah, I guess it's because it's become desirable now. The desirability of this area has become very high. So yeah, they decide to upgrade their houses. Okay, well, I want to see what they do with their houses now. I want to see what they actually do. So let's speed time on until somebody, one of you lot out there, you lovely cupboard town dwellers, finally upgrades your house. Oh, there are so many notifications about people upgrading their houses. Everybody has gone a bit crazy for the church. But look, this one is being done... Oh, look, it's a proper medieval kind of thing. Your villagers have reached a new status. Villager. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Right, my villagers have become villagers, everybody. Yay. Is that is that good? Okay, look, look at the house. It's gone proper sort of medieval-y now. We've gone away from thatched roof and little thing. Look, it's got it's got timbers on the outside. It's got a stone base. Oh, that's very, very cool. Are they all going like this? <gasps> This is going to look awesome when all this is done. That will look tremendous. So many cool buildings. Okay. What? Uh, do I get new buildings, did it say? So now I can do a sheep farm, a weaver hut, a road sign, and a clothes market. Okay, well, uh, a clothes market and a weaver hut are redundant at the minute because I've got no sheep farm. Uh, a road sign, a forester camp. What does that do? I need six more people. I assume that means six villagers. Oh, so I need 68 people. Is that what that means? And then I get a forester camp. What does that do? Is that like a better one of these? Okay, I don't know what that does. Right, a road sign. I'm intrigued. What's the point? What does this do? <laughs> Why would I want a road sign? Unless that also increases the um, sort of uh, attractiveness of living in the area. I don't know. Do you know what? I'll put one just there. Yay, a road sign. <laughs> How what would resources it take? Two bits of wood. Okay, let's go over here then. Does it mean anything to do with this? residential and let's get ourselves a road sign oh look at it around there <laughs> look at it that's just silly let's put one over here this can point to my house does this have any bearing on desirability for housing no it does utterly nothing okay it is a purely aesthetic thing i think unless i'm going to introduce it later in the game well now i feel like i need to put one over here somewhere saying the farm is uh the farm is that way go that way for the farm please more villagers are joining, which means more houses. Anything is, it means more bread is required. Yeah, let's hoik this up the uh, priority list. Yes, please, make that important. The windmill is important. Let's turn the theme above off. Villagers upgrading his house. Oh, look, you've upgraded yours to a proper medieval -y house as well. That looks tremendous. And you've got a door. Oh, you have got a door. It's at the bottom there. No one believes in sort of back doors to these houses. Okay. That's looking very good. Right, let's speed time on until this bit's done. I want these three bits down here. I want the well. Are you just building a normal house? Yep, you're building a house. So I want the well and the two little market things to be done. I want them to be finished and ready for us to put people in to, uh, to work in them. Aha, the windmill is done. The low-lying windmill up on the hill is finished. Let's just pop somebody into there. Jean, Jean, Jeannie, Jean, I don't know. But you, this person here is working in there. Good. So now I've got two windmills to make use of some of this flower here. Another building is unlocked. What building? We've got 64 people. It's only six more to get the forest to camp, didn't it? Uh, it plants trees. Right, that would make sense. Okay, so the foresters go and plant trees. Ah, oh, that could be really useful because then we can repopulate this with trees. So we don't have to keep going really far afield. I think that might be quite key to have right now. 
Uh, I don't know how many people need to work in it, but yeah, a forester camp is going to be really useful. Let's put you uh, just here. Drop a forester camp in. Yeah, and if you can just repopulate this with trees, that'd be great. These bits here are done behind the church. The new sort of, well, not the new centre, but that's always going to be the main centre. But the new sort of important bit behind the church. So we need somebody to live in here. Female 1282. <laughs> the Borg have arrived. Okay, fine. And uh, and Amalia. Okay, Amalia's got a slightly catchier name than female 1282. But okay, that's good. What are you doing? We're just sort of sitting there. You want lodging, water, and berries. Oh, and you have them all. Isn't that splendid? Okay, so th this is looking this is looking very, very good indeed. I'm very impressed with this. So we're going to have the forester camp in. What I might do is, yeah, now we've got the other windmill in. Let's bosh the priority of that up a little bit. Because that doesn't take that much either. It's just some, some unworked wood and then some worked wood. So let's get that in. I want to see how that works. Oh, look, there's a reforestation, uh, sort of whatever this is, zoning area. So, ah, look. Yeah, so we reforest this. And it will just reforest all this area, which is absolutely splendid. And then they can go and keep cutting it down. And then we can sort of this nice perpetual sort of supply of things. There we go. That works very well. So let's reforest that for now. Uh, possibly down to about there. That's very good. And that should be finished soon. Now, I don't know how many people work in there. Let's take a quick look when it's done. It's done. The forester camp is done. Plant trees. Ah, so it's only one person. Okay, Victoria, you get to work in there. Yes, and replant some trees for us, please, Victoria. We need more trees. Another thing I am noticing is our berry count is uh, is struggling a little bit. It's come down. It was on 230-something. Now it's down to 120-ish. We might need possibly another gatherer hut or two around these berries. So there's plenty of room over near this one. So I don't see why we don't just drop another one in there. So a gathering camp. Now I imagine, I, th I think these must be infinite. I don't know how they don't run out. I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, that's fine. But that's fine by me. I'm not that bothered. If we drop that just there, assign three people to that, that might help. Oh, the berry, the berry amount is dwindling quite drastically. Yes, 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 yes. More of that. And do you know what? Gathering camp here as well. Let's just, let's just put another one just there. No, that's the wrong keyboard key to turn it round, you silly man. Uh, yeah, just about... Um, Yep, there will do just fine. Thank you very much. That's good. It's on a path. They'll have to work their way around that. That's absolutely fine. More villagers are joining. Of course, more villagers means more food required. Okay, let's do that. Let's also up the priority of this. Yes, make that important, please. Look at the amount of medieval houses spring up. Oh, no, now we're going to get class systems going on. Because the people in the nice houses with the tiled roofs and the brick bases are going to be looking at the plebs in the, uh, the old thatched houses and you know looking down on them. Are we getting some sort of division going on in Covered Town? Right, one gathering camp done. Let's assign three people to it. Ah, good. The more members of the Borg have joined. 1209 and 1767 have joined along with Elizabeth. And then this one here is probably done as well. These have three generic names. Antonia. Oh, Antonia James and Female 73. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. They are very, very, very quick at replanting trees. Good grief. Okay, that'll be good. That's actually very, very useful, isn't it? That means I don't have to keep going really far afield. This bit here should keep us going in terms of sort of uh, wood stocks for ages. Particularly if they're just replenishing everything every time. That's going to be very, very useful. Right, people are still either building new houses or upgrading upgrading theirs. Okay, over here could do with maybe some of these things. Maybe a decorative bush behind there. A couple of decorative trees, perhaps maybe one there and one on the other side of that house. Does that make this area a little bit better? Desirability high. The addition of two trees in a bush has made this absolutely imperative to live there. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll call it a day for now. That's gone. That's gone surprisingly well. That church looks flipping amazing with its little line of trees. Oh, the line of trees is a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who lined that up. I, 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 whoever lined that up, they should be fired immediately. That's terrible. But I think that's going very well. Look at it. It looks great. That looks tremendous. I like the church. I like it. Let's get rid of... Oh, no. Let's not get rid of that for now. Because next time out... Let's just put time to normal speed. I think we now go through the final the final buildings that we can build. So, we can build a sheep farm, which is intriguing. And then a weaver hut. Then a clothes market. So, I imagine that'll be another one of these little things. Probably with like a blue top or a purple top or whatever. And um, that's it. And I don't know if we get any more things. I don't know if we get any more buildings to build. I don't quite know what the extent of the alpha is. I'll check before next time out. But I mean, yeah, it's an alpha. I'm not expecting to be playing this for many, many, many parts. I'm not expecting like a 30-part series of this. It will come to a point where we'll go, right, we've done everything. We've built churches. We've built castles, whatever. We've done all the stuff. 
that's kind of where we've got to now. But yeah, we do need this. We need a sheep farm, we need a weaver hut, and we need a clothes market. So next time out, we'll concentrate on that. And we might possibly try and come out over here. Because there's these over here. These berries are over here. Like I've got 700 gold. Why don't I just go and buy a bit of land? Just for, for something to do with my gold. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. That leaves me 200 left. Splendid. I've bought some more stuff. So yeah, I might try and branch out down here. Build a church over here. That'll make this land available. Uh, available. It'll make it desirable. Stick the sheep farm thing over here. People can have houses. There's stone. There's more berries over here. We'll build another farm. More windmills. Kind of expand over here a little bit. Kind of come out this way. Maybe buy a couple more tiles that way as well. So yeah, there, there is a plan. There is a plan. I mean, it's probably not a very good plan and it probably won't work, but there's a plan nonetheless. So I'm really enjoying this. I think this is lovely. It's very nice. It's quite refreshing to play a game like this without everything going wrong. I mean, I imagine they'll add that in as time goes on. They'll add you know, starvation and hunger and plagues and crop failures and stuff. But right now, it's quite lovely just to play. It's quite relaxing and therapeutic and it's very, very enjoyable. And I hope you are enjoying watching it. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on with our lovely Cupboard Town settlement, which is growing day by day. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Zombie, kill, kill it, kill it, bash it in the head. How do I pick the chairs up again? I've forgotten. Ah, like that. Oh, good shot, sir. I know your brain's there. Could you? Oh, sorry, I've just stood on your brain. Fuel in the toilet, yep. Yeah. Biofuel, I suppose. Oh, 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 I should should not have done that. Go and wrestle the moose. Why not? I don't think I've ever said that before to anyone ever.